What's good YouTube? Jonathan Moore here with the MCOL40 and we have our first place finisher from the last tournament, Cody Angeloff, versus our third place finisher from the separate bracket, Nadir Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh! And they're gonna go straight at it and hit it hard and the second round of our tournament meeting really early. Yeah, this is only round two and these two have to play. This would have oh. been something to have seen last tournament. Uh, but this is also post-Bosch now, so we're going to see a lot more interesting stuff. Well, we see Cody win and uh, opt second. Something huh. we, we didn't really see last tournament because uh, he was wanting to go first with that Synchron deck. He's probably not playing it. There's really no reason to want to play that post-Bosch. I mean, it's still very good, but if you lose the dice roll, you're not, not going to be in a happy spot. Yeah, but... This is also post-Bosch. So, post Bosch with no monarchs, we're doing the in between format. So. Yeah, so. Uh, still giving first allows Nadir try to try to make that unbreakable board. So, I'm guessing Cody's playing a lot of hand traps. Monkey, monkey. That or Cody still on the formula to uh, go second. Monkey, monkey. Monkey man into skull man into more. Into lizard man. It's kind of stupid how one card just gives you three things. Is he going to hit us with... Oh. oh, he told me some spice he might be bringing, but I don't want to reveal yet. And that maxi is huge. That maxi is... Yeah, the hand traps are coming. What do you What do you do now? Oof. Do you just quit? Do you just stop your turn? Or do you... I mean... Do you normal... Do you uh, normal twice and try to make the unbreakable board what do you do yeah there's the clown he's definitely gonna normal that i feel this is tough though lizard draw maybe draw another right here instead of having the scale or you, you just go you just... i don't think it's worth it to give, to give your opponent cards unless you have back row you know what i mean the more resources you give your opponent the more that they're gonna have to discard for <laughs> <laughs> wow. Uh, the, the, you can't see me card. I want, <laughs> don't get seed. I mean, you know he opened up really well. Well, it seems that uh, Brilliant Fusion is going to be some hot tech come the new build for a lot of the American players are playing. Yeah. Oh, damn. So we've actually got protection, it looks like. This man wanted to protect himself. Oh! <laughs> oh! What? His trademark. That is his avatar for his channel. What? And the he he is here. This man is going to accept the challenge. And Fernandes might be able to do a deck out, but I doubt he's going to go for it. Like. It's highly not unlikely. Not three card or thirty-three cards. Yeah, especially with other hand traps, likely. So you all thought it was just Pepe, but this man's insignia is on the board with his. Uh, okay. You search the barrier here, set it. You offer your opponent the handshake with three back row. In my opinion. Yeah, definitely worth it to give him the extra card to have a barrier. A thousand percent. Unless he's not playing barrier. I mean, he may be just considering going off still, and getting something further. Ah, there's Barrier. Yeah, he has no reason not to set the Barrier. Absolutely none. Oof. You know that Scale's not being popped a draw a card, I can tell you that. Watch him do him. Wow, and an overlay, wow. Under Max so D. There's one. There's two. Oh, there's just one. Okay. Yeah. So we have two, four, six, eight cards to start his hand, but we've got a solemn judgment essentially on the other field with other back rows that we don't. Do we think it's Infernity Break? Do we think it's Infernity based cards? Do we think it's notices? Like, Nedir really might have just felt like his start setup was so strong that he, he could afford this. I don't know. Like. Oh, uh, man. And now he got extra life points, too. How does you know, it he feel? Can rank up, he can rank up into that. Ooh! How does it feel to play thirty-seven cards? It does. It's not a good feeling to draw all three. I can tell you that. 
Well, I mean, he's got eight cards in hand. He's fine. Yeah, but 11,000 life points. Nadir is almost definitely living this turn. To me, this the situation is ridiculous. I mean, I it's I guess it's good to see diversity in this format. I could be wrong. I love seeing innovation get rewarded. So we're gonna see where this goes and how this goes. Ooh, that's you. Do you you have to chum block the uh, barrier? You have to do the barrier here. You can't let him resolve and remove. Yeah, of course not. But the question is, what what does this man? This man can't activate his own wavering now in response, um, simply because that'll put the card in his hand. Yeah, you have to. It basically forces the barrier play. So uh, good play by Cody. <laughs> like clearly you. Do you have another answer besides Barrier? Oh, what if he's teching Magic Drain and that's what made him think so long and he's like, surely he has another spell. I mean, he's got to have another one. I'm assuming he's got a uh, Damage Juggler or uh, another Wavering to make a bold play like that. Uh, well, he definitely wanted this uh, Flush to go through. I mean, a Wavering here for four will be Hot Fire. Um... Well, he's definitely going to Lesser Plush first and see where that gets him. No, I mean from uh, Ned here. He's allowing this to go through, which if oh, he does yeah. have Wavering, he's fine with it. Because then he's going to banish the result. Um... Yeah, Infernity is Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh's trademark, and he finds really innovative ways to keep it going. Uh, is obviously his favorite. He came to have fun in this free tournament instead of uh, taking it a thousand percent competitively serious. And but he's still obviously trying to win. He look at this man's board. It's not like he took it as a joke. And I feel like he has something else up his sleeve with these back rows besides he, a wavering. He has to have something. I think there's something besides a wavering down there. And there's the Patal Maya, so what are we going to go into at this juncture? Uh, Pallades, alright, so we're not allowing free overlays, and the Clown comes back. So, does Cody just attack the Clown then go, or does Cody have a strong enough hand to continue? Leaving... I feel like he's trying to get the three scale with this overlay. I mean, it definitely seems like it. Yeah, so like, getting this clown... I, I might have bounced the clown there. Uh, because I feel like he needed that to get to the 3 scale, but then again, if he, he has wavering, you can't bounce the clown, of course. So it's all just very difficult to not know what Nadir has. And retrospect and hindsight is always easier. Yeah, see, now he's got a consideration. Now, if this man has a warning down, it would be fine to bounce the... the oh, and a bluff instant fusion. So, obviously the wrong one. And the other one could be a bluff, too. I don't... Yeah, because to make barrier live, both could be bluffs. You could be perfectly right with this read, Robbie. I'm just always assuming that my opponent has the nuts. Yeah, because you try to play... Oh, there's the three scale, but it's the negation of all. So that lizard draw is now dead. Uh, in the water... That's good news. Oh, wavering for four, another wavering, double wavering. You gave him. I, the that's cards. what I said earlier. Like, it, if Ned here had the other wavering, like it's a good thing that he didn't pull it because we you know. You bounce the archfiend here. <sighs> I don't think you do anything here. Uh, I, I mean, your Pleiades is probably getting removed if you don't bounce the archfiend. 
So, and Archfiend could be what gets him back in this. I mean, Cody's in a very strong position now. That, that last face down is nothing. Well, if he draws a settable, uh, Wavering obviously is, low, is bad because uh, he's going to get another Wavering if he can't stop this. So I think you bounce the Archfiend. Oh, the monkey board. Okay, that's also very good because uh, the monkey Yeah, it board... doesn't let him search for a thir or a third copy of Wavering. Well, yeah. And he opts for the back row. Ooh, Ooh. what a loss. Launcher's big. I feel for that, man. Yeah, double bluffs, you were right. He had to to make his barrier live. It was very ballsy to go all out and give him that many off maxi with only one real back. I mean, to be fair, Cody's just got the nuts here. Like... The, f you're, the other thing is, Cody's just going to pendulum all of this stuff. Yeah, yeah. Cody's in just an immaculate position. Uh, it's it, Now that Nadir's taken the 1,000 this turn and the 1,000 from Wavering, putting him back at... Uh, one Wavering was negated. Yeah, okay, so one was. Putting him back at 95, though, he may be in kill range, because kill range is usually like 10,200 through a few monsters. So we could see kill range happen here. I'm but, seeing kill range here. Yeah, I do too. Yeah, that's that's definitely game. Like, there's too much happening. I mean, yeah, you can reset up your scale, but you're not gonna survive that. Nah, he he, that was game that turn. I'm almost sure. The other thing I really hate to say about this deck is Mag C is just too powerful. Like, you're basically giving your opponent the chance to win the game if you let them draw too much. I think we might see, because of Maxi, the advent of uh, Debunk being a card, because Hand Traps seem to become the meta so fast, we may see Debunk become Debunk is too slow. I agree, but at the same time, uh, Hand Traps caused the game to be slower, so it comes into play. I mean, the the way the game works is you take your... You go turn one, your opponent Maxi's you. You either push through the board and give your opponent... 8 to 10 cards, depending, if not more or less. Or you pray not to die. And then you're, you have to end your turn. And then your opponent goes and then out resources you. Or if you have a max C, possibly you can hold back. But like it, at that point, your opponent's just going to go off on you because you've given them too many resources. Yeah, you've got to have like damage juggler ogre at that point, which again is two hands. Even traps. that, like losing to just max C turn 1, there's nothing you can do. Like it's interesting that such a weak card is so powerful. So that's just my take on it. Yeah, game two is coming up, stream chat. And thanks for joining us. I want to take this moment to shout out trollandtoad.com for making this tournament possible. Without them, you wouldn't be having great matches like these and seeing Infernity Archfiend plop on a board and really cool things happening. I mean, if Nadir wouldn't have gotten Max Seed last game. Oh. So, interesting. Cody opted for Nadir to go first. Now Nadir chooses to go first, despite knowing he's fighting hand traps. I mean, I'm assuming that he boarded in hand traps as well. Ghost Ogre, Baylor, Max Seed, the, the whole kit and caboodles going to be good here. We'll see. Well, actually, Ned here is playing Infernity. He either boarded out the entrance or left it in. Uh, he can't make use of hand traps with Barrier or Launcher. Which is interesting in and of itself. Hey! I my Michael Clazel just uh, gave me this image and it just made my day. Oh my gosh. He, uh, he showed me that they're, uh, they're watching the stream on their TV. That's pretty cool. So far, this is this is looking kind of standard here. Now here, if you even want a fighting chance here, buddy, you gotta do something. Shout outs to the fifty-four people here with us to see this face off. Oh, they just wanted to watch now here get destroyed by Cody. Well, I know this is this is three o'clock California time, so uh, it's tough on a few people. That is true. And the round just launched as well. Which is something else to keep in mind here.
Hmm. Here we go, Trick Clown. So there's the Nova, and there's the Infinity. He's really pushing this through. Yeah, I'm guessing he has some kind of back row to go with it. Do we see him pop the Lazard draw? No, no. No Lazard draw from uh, Nutty or so. Definitely something strong back there. No uh, use for his own scale. Now, if I was Nadir, well, maybe, I don't know. Maybe have put the Trick Clown in attack mode and sucked it up with Infinity. Wow, that's... Something. Oh! Oh! My oh! God. oh! Oh! <laughs> that oh. was sick. That was the definition of sick, ladies and gentlemen. And I say ladies because I know there's a lady in the chat called Rescue Cat Duelist. Ugh. Now, which back row do you pick? That part doesn't matter. Like, ugh. Well, Wavering wins game one. Wavering wins game two. Welcome to the format, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, he's searching for Luster, not Monkey Man. That is oh. pretty... Maybe he already has uh, a... A Skull Crobat or Monkey Man. Oh! That's a decent hit, but... With so all that back row, I don't know. That's definitely a decent hit to hit, though. You know there's another wavering down there. That was so strong. I think we're going to see Diamond Dyer first, and then he's going to get Hat Tricker. Oh, of course. Yeah. And then with only two cards left, that Nova's going to... Oh, man. Like, Cody has no cards, almost. Oh, I'm surprised. Why? He just wants to roll. Yeah. There's huh. instant. Oh, so with the same set we see from Nadir, we see uh, Cody make. Um, a lot of the uh, TCG player base is playing instant fusion for some reason. Yeah, but everybody seems to be setting it uh, to protect their real back row from being hit. Possibly. Well, I mean, to be fair, Cody didn't have any play here. Yeah, yeah. Is that I haven't drawn enough Infinity cards? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Luster Plush too. He wanted to show off. This man wanted to show off uh, his cool combos, but now he's stuck. Uh, oh, there's Wavering, so there's Nova. Nova's obviously going to negate that. Nova's overkill. like, nom 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 nom. Unless he just has game and he wants to leave that last back row. But if that last back row, row is a counter trap left, you don't want to... It's it's a hard 50-50 call. Like, I don't think that's a responsive left anymore. So I think I, I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a responsive. If it's a notice, it just blows out the uh, uh, infinity. I mean, to be fair, I would probably just activate my own wavering here in response. Yeah. I, I get, think that's fair because then his... Uh, and get Skull Crow back, get Monkey Man, get a scale. Yeah, like... Yeah. Well, I mean, no, he already normaled this turn. Ooh, so you yeah, would just go right. Monkey Man into Lizard Man. My bad, always thinking of the double normal summon. Because if he's got the notice here, then um, ARG gets to search. Yeah, yeah Chan, Nectar you're made the proper play here. Yeah. Um, if the other face, now you have to reveal the other face down. If it's nothing relevant uh, for the Infinity, then the game's over. As sad as it is. Magic Drain! Yeah, and see. that's game. So we got a good game three between these two high-profile competitors. Um, there will be another feature after this. <laughs> Glasgow was so salty, he's not winning with Archfiend. Like, and I assume, again, he's going to get his wish and get to go first. But, yeah, John, there's another feature after this. Oh, we have a second feature coming? Brian? Yeah, I, I want to be here for this one. Is it Brian? No, it is uh, iTweety. Oh, nice. He messaged me, he's like, we were about to start and then we saw you were streaming, so we're going to wait on you. So, you have it here first from uh, the eSports of Yu-Gi-Oh! 
Zodiac Duelist TV, brought to you by Trollandso.com. Just basically bringing you some of the most fun games early. Bosch isn't even out yet, but you're getting the action here first. This is what you're going to be looking at before Monarchs come out, is this format. And that's why we wanted to capture it this month. I know a lot of people complain that we didn't allow Monarchs to be legal because people want to test Atlanta. But the downside is, for our player base, um, a lot of them wanted to test for the in-between format. Ooh, my headphones are outside. I'm gonna run really quick while they're siding and pick up that package because it's important. All right, here we go. Hey, it is showtime. Who went first this time? Uh, it is not here again. This poor man has had to go first every game. But he chose. He chose to go first. So it's it's like he's getting what he wants, and Cody's getting what he wants also. <sighs> oh no! Foolish Are burial. We... Here comes the natty beast. Hey, oh, nope. we got some headphones. Thank you, stream, so much. These were really uncomfortable, uh, and we needed a little bit of a uh, something. If I'm going to be sitting you here, you know, eight hours in a row, a lot of these streams. Luster punch. <laughs> I do have a tank top under this, unfortunately. And we have another feature match for YouTube coming up after this, and this one will definitely be on YouTube. This one is really good. I've both of these duels have been extremely good to us, and I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, shout outs to everybody for being so friendly about the mandatory feature match clause, but it is a free tournament and it's all we ask. I understand not wanting to reveal text, but like, you know, you're already on D and it's already public. Damage man. Look at that stylish hat. That Mickey Mouse going on. Oh, uh, no, he, I guess just, uh, Trick Clone. Headphone hype is correct. These are supposed to be the best. Oh, wow. He's firing wavering here. This man's gonna be fully loaded. Yeah, wow. And no damage juggler to stop it from Cody. Yeah, but wasting a wavering there. I wouldn't call it a waste. Uh, he's going to just fill back, straight back up and set up a really nice board. So it's definitely not a waste in any sense of the form. Because now he's going to have uh, everything he could possibly want uh, coming for him. He's going to have a scale set and a destructible scale so that uh, he, he can leave the monkey man. Um, he's going to have an infinity. Oh, and there's the Archfiend. He's going to have Barrier, Nova. He has everything he wants. Huh. He can't draw with the lizard now. Ah, ha, ha, I forgot the other plush. Ooh. Misplays. I mean, it doesn't really make much of a difference here. Yeah, he's got a full Oh, board. lord. Woof. 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 This is spicy. Were you prepared for something that could fire back? Turn one like your deck. Your synchro deck. But he's going to have three XYZs on the board. At least. Woof is all I can say. So he can make Rafelzia a giant hand. He can make whatever he wants here. Rafelzia and giant hand would be fucking disgusting. Like, I'm already disgusted by this board. Well, actually, yeah, Archfiend has to stay there. He can't let it leave. Yeah, but, oh, yeah, yeah, you're correct. So he can only make one. Unless he has an Archfiend overlay. I don't, does that exist? No. Unfortunately not. Sorry for this noise, I'll do this after this round. I got caught up in the hype. Huh. 
Ignister. Are we gonna? Uh, he can't make the Ignister fusion, I believe, with this. Oh, so. he can't do anything with this. Ah. Uh, so he just made a really strong. This is walling board. up. Mind control would be so big here. I've I've heard about mind mind control being teched, and mind controlling that Ignister. Woof. For the guy in the Watchers chat that literally just said, "Why no master?" Um. Draco Slayer has the claws, cannot be special summon, or cannot use fusion. Synchro Exploity materials, uh, using this card as a material, except for... Oh yeah, he could have made a... This is a very, so. very, very good first play for Cody, because that card may be the card he needs to push through and get negated, or it may just be the force card to be able to go off. We'll see. But again, Glasgow also has two negations, so... It's uh, yeah. He's gonna go ahead and stop oh, he's this first. It with the barrier. Yeah, because it's a it's a free summon, and it's a free to. Uh, and it's a it's a free X Y Z basically in a free scale. Yeah, so I think that is the card you want to stop out of a hand. Like obviously you activate it first, as if that's not what you want to be stopped because it's the least information you can give your opponent. But I think that was a wise move. I think yeah, I would have used Infinity there though. Uh, Instead of the barrier, because the barrier seems more absolute. Yeah, I mean, it can stop waverings. Like, now he could, he might be able to get a damage, uh, a way to, like, ram damage juggler. Or, or trapeze, my bad. Tra ram trapeze into Nova. Uh, you open so many more plays that are rammable uh, into Nova. I mean... Okay, so that's not even a real scale. Yeah, but... Uh, so I think you just stopped this. Uh, but now he's going to go ahead and pop the Lizard Art draw. Maybe, may oh my goodness, double wavering. So now this man's board is open. He's going to get his own Draco Slayer, likely. Um, but <coughs> how is he going to set a scale with just the... It depends on the last card in hand. I, I'm sure he can... He didn't do all this for naught. He gets Monkey Man into Lizard Man. Hey, and thanks for that follow. Yeah, this is true. Um, I mean, he's, if not, he's got Skullcrabat in the Monkey Man. And yeah, he needs man. he needs the other four to Ignister, so he needs to do that. Yeah, as soon as he gets his scales up, there's just going to be a disgusting amount of spinning here. <sighs> wavering, and probably Skullcrabat. And yeah, that Wavering might just clutch this. It should clutch it. There's no reason why it doesn't. Yeah, having to leave your scales up seems kind of uh, risque for the strategy of Infernities for the negation of just one more card, but it also does seem very powerful. Despite being able to stop two cards, it looks like Cody's hand was just so strong thanks to Double Wavering. Well, I mean, when you open up Double Wavering, you open up Double Wavering. Like, yeah. that's going to be the format. Like, Wavering is such a good card. And it's very abusable. It, it's so, it's so good. It's the only thing I can say about it. Cody's still not going to be able to clear everything. I think. I'm surprised he banished know. this trick clown. Well, you have to remember when his own Ignister comes out here. Ignister can spend the opponent's or destroy the opponent's yeah. Ignister, and then yeah, he'll be away. able to take care of everything. So can that ear top anything spicy? Monkey so, man, lizard man. Yeah. Huh. Yeah, unfortunately this clears the board. And it has a wavering left back. Yeah. Hey, thanks for these follows, guys. Means a lot. And anybody who supports the stream is entered into a free raffle. Uh, and gets uh, that'll be conclude around the 15th or 16th, somewhere in there. And we'll be giving away half a box of docks. And uh, four people will get three packs who have uh, given to the stream. Something to give back to those who support us. Buster man. All right, now pop. Does anything an Ignister can? Shuffle cards everywhere. I definitely feel like I would make the master here. Oh, this is just so free. Yep, here comes master. 
hey, we see some purple. I love this guy's artwork. It's it's so weird that he's a rare to me, mm -hmm. but at the same time, thank gosh. He would have been fine a super. By God, this man has a family. You're breaking his life points right in half, Cody Angeloff. Calm down. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, oh and gosh. We know one's a wavering, so there's that. No pendulum scale. He can't even play Monkey Man. Oh. I'm guessing one's a bluff, one's a wavering, and one's questionable. It may be wavering in two bluffs, uh, because instant fusion's a thing, but, uh... It looks like Cody wrapped this up pretty nicely. I assume that it's done. Well, thanks for all these follows, guys, right at the end. Tweety sent you? Thanks. We're actually having Tweety up next. It is Instant Fusion! The one possible card to put him back in, depending on these back rows. I don't think there's anything that he can do here. Oh... Uh... Yeah, there's no. time space. GG, mm -hmm. Arena, no cappuccinos. Rest in pep, sweet prince. Actually, he still gets the Norden effect here on that. Doesn't he? No, it misses timing. Uh, a GG, Arena. Good job to Cody Angeloff taking this second round. This is round two. Just imagine what the next ones are going to be like, folks. Any uh, final words, Robbie? Nope, we're shifting over to the next feature.